Hi guys, Ryan back again. Uh, so it's kind of starting a new series here with a new business. Uh, kind of wanted to do a uh, like a, a tips and tricks type of things with stuff I see out on the road. Uh, so I had a great first week. I uh, appreciate all the support. Uh, a lot of the uh, people out of state that watch the channel that called in want some stuff done here in the in the, in the uh, coming weeks. So really appreciate that support. Uh, so I had a, uh, I've done a Google ad campaign and I've got, uh, I had like three service calls with that, uh, hits off that in the last three days. So, um, not too bad. So I guess people are Googling road service or whatever. And we came up, so I uh, got out and helped those people. Uh, last night I was out till about midnight. I uh, had a uh, guy in a 2015 Volvo up here in, uh, up on 271, 480 Warrensville Heights. He, uh, blew a coolant line to his def injector, like I said, a 2015 Volvo, and uh, said, I, didn't, I haven't worked on a lot of those, so uh, it's like, like, I'll get the antifreeze, I got what I got a lot of supplies in the truck, I got hose, I got clamps, I got everything else. Um, I'll get up there, we'll take a look at it, and we'll see what we can do. Um, I'll get everything on the way that I think uh, we might need. So it's, it was a Saturday, yesterday, uh, what was it, uh, June 19th, yesterday. Uh, so I got up there about uh, five o'clock, roughly, after I picked everything up got on site and i'm going to show you guys this on a kenworth because that's what i have so i'm going to try to, to i got the old parts here that i brought with me from the volvo i'm going to show you where they're at and these are really cheap parts but it's a big problem if you have one of these trucks uh so i mean if it that's what i want to put out here to you guys that uh might be something to check out and something to keep an eye on or maybe replace if your truck's getting you know this truck was a 2015 so six years old so if you're in that kind of time frame, this might be something you want to replace before it becomes a huge problem out on the road. Uh, the line blows and you lose all your coolant. So, uh, so I'm going to try to show it on this truck. So on a Volvo, underneath basically the door here, you have that, that step that comes off. And your DPF and the SCR is right underneath here. You know how that folds out, comes out and all that, that step comes off. Uh, so underneath there... Right underneath, behind the steps is that pancake kind of unit, like I said, DPF SCR. There's a def injector or a nozzle, uh, whatever they want to call it, you know, per manufacturer. Um, there's two coolant lines that go to that to keep that cool. Uh, so I've actually got the old coolant lines. There's two rubber hoses here that come down. And then there's two plastic lines that actually, they run down the frame from about right here. So on a Volvo right here, there's that little coolant water jacket, manifold, whatever you want to call it. And there's two quick disconnects. Um, actually, one of them, this, this, this line, this is this plastic or neoprene. It got really brittle. And the nipples broke off this end. And actually, one of the, uh, the female fittings broke off this end when I was taking it off. So the guy called me. He sent me a picture originally. And this was the actual hose that he sent me. So these are preformed. There's a piece of plastic in there that actually has this female fitting. So there's no way, if this breaks, there's nothing you can do with it. There's no way, this, it, and it's, you know, down on the def injector down here, there is a, it, it's, it's a steel nipple, male fitting, but it's not barbed or anything like that. I mean, you might be able to take some, like I was going to take some 3 8 fuel line, some fuel vapor line, and uh, plug that in, and it fit really well, and I was going to put two clamps around to kind of get the guy going. Uh, but I was able to get a hold of Young Volvo on their emergency parts line down there, and they had somebody come in 24 hours, and uh, we were able to replace both lines and both the plastic lines. Uh, these are about $65 a piece, the pl these uh, rubber lines here with the quick disconnects on each end. And uh, the plastic lines, these were like 34 and 38, $38. So, I mean, not a whole lot of money. I mean, you're looking at like, like 65, 130, uh, like $175. Let me, hold on, let, me, let me check my math. <laughs> so roughly 35, 38, around $200 of parts here, roughly. So not, not nothing real expensive. Um, I had to make two trips back to Canton last night because I... Took those lines off, everything came off really really well. Um, but when I came back, I hooked up the the new lines, the new the new rubber hose, and the nipples broke off. Like I just hooked it up and it just broke off. So it was that this this, this plastic line 
was that brittle. And like I said, these are really cheap and there's only down the frame, like I said, this goes kind of along the frame just like this. There's three hold downs. There's one about here, one about here. Then there's one in the very back where they drop down and uh, they're just a 10 millimeter bolt. I mean, it literally only took me to, to take this all apart and put it back together. It took me like 30 minutes. Um, but with everything, with the guy lost all his coolant, um, had to get 50-50 mixed coolant on the way up there. And that's like 20, with tax, that's like $20 a gallon, 10 gallons, it was 200 bucks for that. Um, then we had to pay an after hours service line. So that was an additional, uh, after hours parts call in down at Young Volvo. So that was $150 to get a parts guy to come back in to get us the parts since they had them. Um, so with my labor, I had like five hours of drive time. Like I said, 50 bucks an hour for that. So it was like 250. And I only charge a guy a hundred dollars of, uh, you know, premium time, a hundred dollars an hour for that. So I tried him 350 labor, um, but the bill ended up being like nine, 927 or something total, um, where if this is something you should check out, if you have a, an older, you know, 2015, whatever, I'm not, I haven't worked on a whole lot of all of those. Uh, so if you have these type of lines and you're approaching, you know, you know, four five, six, seven years old or, or older, um, I would definitely check these out, see what they look like. If you got some downtime, I mean, you can drain your coolant, save your coolant, replace these lines. It's really easy. I mean, they, they just, like I said, they literally, that water jacket's right here on a Volvo, and they just run down the frame. There's two, there's three hold downs, 10 millimeter socket, take them out. They're pretty easy to get to. And uh, these, these quick disconnects here, I mean, you just, you see that purple right there. All you have to do is, is push both of those in and it releases it, push both those in and pull it out. I mean, and then the new ones just pop right in. So it's, it's a really simple fix. And it's something that, I mean, probably a dealer, I mean, for me, for road service, uh, you know, under a thousand dollars, I'm imagining probably if they would, even if you would take it into a dealer to get fixed, they probably would have charged you the same price as what I charge for, for on, on site road service and picking everything up and all that. So, um, like I said, if you take it in a shop or if it breaks down on the road, I mean, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So if you got an older Volvo, just something to check out. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And this is something new that I'm going to kind of do now with uh, going out on site. When I have a problem, that's something that I can see that could be, be prevented. I'm going to put that out to you guys to help you guys maybe check that out, you know, save some money, save some downtime. Um, because it was, it was just a lot of running around yesterday. I mean, uh, it was, like I said, literally a 30-minute fix. Uh, but having to go back down and come back and all that, I mean, it, it ran up to the guy who was down for like six or seven hours, roughly. So, and and and, and the worst part, we were like five minutes from Cleveland uh, R and R Mac uh, Volvo right there, but they they don't have an after hour service or nothing like that. So that's something else. Also, um, a lot of dealers they do have an after hours parts line, where I mean they're going to charge you 100 or 150 bucks to come in, but. You know, you can get parts 24 seven if need be, even if they are closed. So uh, again, uh, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, mid uh, teens Volvos, I guess. Uh, keep a look at, keep an eye out for this type of stuff. Uh, Cause like I said, it can cost you a lot of money. It's easy fix, cheap parts basically. Uh, so just want to throw it out there. And like I said, I want to pass all my experience and, and all that on to you guys, whatever I come upon. And uh, so this is just like I said, a new type of series we're going to do here going forward and we got couple other things coming down the line too we're going to put out there as well so you know thanks for watching hope that helps you out uh like i said subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell for the updates like the video um and like i said again i appreciate all the calls and support we've gotten here in the last uh, week or so um so hope that helps you out again uh like i said thanks for everything we'll see you next time